why do we experience time in a linear fashion in the universe rather than exponentially or logarithmically? If the universe were to stop expanding and start contracting, would the thermodynamic arrow reverse, creating a decrease in disorder over time and leading to backward time instead of forward time? Okay, so why do we experience time in a linear fashion in the universe rather than exponentially or logarithmically? Um, experiencing means it is something that it's it's uh, something to do with our perception of the universe. Now we know that there are certain clear laws of the universe. We have general relativity, we have quantum mechanics, quantum field theory, and, and so on. We know that in general relativity, time essentially is a is is the fourth dimension, and in that you can actually go backward and forward in time, mathematically at least. Okay. When it comes to quantum mechanics, time is an external parameter. And once again, it's a linear parameter. So everything we see about the universe, you see that time is linear. So it's just the way the universe is. And our perception of time is also linear because we see events happening sequentially. We experience events happening sequentially. And we have never experienced events happening backwards in time. So that's just the way it is that we experience it in a certain fashion. Maybe the universe could be different and maybe our brains and our cognition and our abilities, cognitive abilities are not that advanced that we, we would that we could perhaps uh, experience time differently. But yeah, the laws of physics are such that time is linear. Maybe in other universes, if they do exist, you may have exponential or logarithmic time. But in this universe, it seems to be completely linear. Now, the other question is also interesting. If the universe were to, were to stop expanding and start contracting, would the thermodynamic arrow reverse causing a decrease in disorder over time and leading to backward time instead of forward time? So, one of the... So, time is one of the biggest mysteries in the universe. What is time? What causes time? Is time an emergent property of the universe or is it just an illusion that we, we perceive? Well, it seems to be connected with entropy. Entropy is a measure of disorder in any system or in the universe overall. The universe is a, is a system and it has a certain amount of disorder. And so any system that has a lot of disorder, randomness, is a high entropy system. And any system that has a very high amount of orderliness is a low entropy system. I would imagine that uh, some of the lowest entropy systems in the entire universe would be the human brains because they are so orderly, right? And so full of information and data in a very, very systematic manner, uh, stored in a very systematic manner. Uh, so what you what you will see is that according to thermodynamics, entropy of any, the entropy of any system increases over time. And that seems to create the uh, thermodynamic arrow of time. Because uh, in any system, entropy can either stay the same or increase. It can never decrease. Right? So that seems to cause that forward arrow of time. So it seems to be perhaps connected to entropy or related to entropy. Now, let's say, like you say, the universe at some point in time, because of its geometry or whatever reason, stops expanding. Right now, the expansion of the universe is actually accelerating. So the universe is expanding and the acceleration of the universe is actually, the expansion of the universe is actually accelerating. But let's say in the future, the universe reaches its maximum expansion point which means that you have a big crunch situation, perhaps a cyclical universe or a big crunch universe. And then the universe starts contracting, getting back, going back towards the initial singularity of the Big Bang. Okay, So what happens then? Does it mean that the thermodynamic arrow reverses? Does it mean that the entropy starts decreasing? Well, we don't quite know for sure. In, in such a situation, in such a, such a case, such a, such a scenario, does the entropy of the universe start decreasing? We know that the volume, the size of the universe will start decreasing, but does it mean that it becomes more orderly over time? And does it mean that the time starts going backward? I'm not sure that that could quite be the case. Because even if you take a closed system with a gas within it, okay, and you squeeze it and you, and you make it smaller, you shrink it, the gas will get hotter for sure. But will it become more orderly? I don't think so. Okay, it may actually become more disorderly. So, it may not quite be the case that if the universe starts contracting, uh, it will become more orderly, the entropy will decrease and the thermodynamic of, uh, arrow of time will reverse. So, yeah. 
but these are all hypothetical questions we don't quite know what will happen if this will even happen or not but very interesting questions and that these can give rise to very interesting thought experiments in physics that can uh, help us unravel some of the big mysteries including time which is one of the biggest mysteries